Hello and welcome to Sky World at the gates of Janine's government hospital on Wednesday. Dozens of armed Palestinian militants and their families gathered to collect their dead, just hours after hundreds of Israeli soldiers withdrew from the city's sprawling refugee camp. A foul stench filled the hot summer air. Much of Janine was left without running water or power during Israel's largest incursion in the occupied West Bank in decades. The bodies of young men were brought out one by one, each tightly tied to a stretcher, with some wrapped in the flags of their armed factions. At least one body was adorned with an AK-47 rifle. The father of one of those killed, a 19-year-old fighter, stood proudly in the crowd outside the hospital, receiving a seemingly endless stream of hugs and condolences. My son sacrificed himself for this land, Firas Abu al-Wafa boasted loudly. My son told me he did not want to get married or have a family. All he wanted to do was to dedicate his life to Palestine, to fighting the occupation. Celebratory gunfire rang out as thousands of people marched through the streets of Janine and its camp on Wednesday to follow the funeral processions that quickly turned into a mass demonstration of resistance, with Palestinian armed factions declaring victory just for withstanding Israel's firepower. The Israeli military says all of the at least 12 Palestinians killed in its near 48 hour operation were combatants, and that its operation aimed to break the mindset that Janine is a safe haven for militants. But the Palestinian fighters parading through the streets in broad daylight, with weapons strapped to their chests, showed that they remain unbroken and defiant. The Janine Brigade, a faction affiliated with the wider Islamic Jihad group, said eight of the dead, ranging in age from 16 to 21 years old, came from among their ranks. Meanwhile, United Nations experts have stated that five children were among the dead.